Today we're doing these three bookcases. I have a blade for the blade itself. Stop it. A back to the mud mug. Today we are doing part two of my bookshelf tour. I have six more bookcases to show you. Um, so today we're gonna do three, and then in part three, which I hopefully will film sooner, than, or like there'll be less time between this and that than there was between one and two, then I'll do the other three bookcases. Today, we're gonna do the three bookcases that are usually, that are mostly visible behind me when I film. There is a, a bookcase that's kind of to the side of me. That will be in part three, because I have these three that are together, and then I have the last three bookcases, are kind of spread out in different places. So those will be the last three I do. Uh, the bookcase that's like to the side of me usually that we're not doing today, that's where I try to keep uh, as many as possible of my like super special expensive rare editions because I like having them together and because that bookshelf is the most facing away from any light. So to keep them safe. So anyway, today we're doing these three bookcases, which is a crap load of books just by itself. So you know, get a cup of tea or something because we're gonna be here for a minute. <laughs> At the very top, we have these books that my friend lent to me before uh, the pandemic, and I just still have them, and I still haven't read them, but they're here so that I know where they are, so if I ever see her again, I can give them back to her. So that's what these are. Over here, hiding behind my um, bookend, <laughs> hiding behind my bookend, are the first three books in the Peculiar Children series, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, The Hollow City, and Library of Souls. And the rest of this is pretty much, um, Mass Market Paperbacks and other smaller paperbacks. The UK First Law Mass Market Paperback, The Blade Itself, Before They Are Hanged, The Last Argument of Kings. And I have the Old Kingdom books, or four of them anyway. Sabriel, Lyriel, Abhorson, uh, and Across the Wall. Then it's just kind of a hodgepodge until we get to Gaiman. The Lies of Loch Lamora, The Difference Engine, The Dirty Streets of Heaven, Daughter of the Forest, A Wrinkle in Time, The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon, and then we get to Gaiman. Here are all the Gaimans. American Gods, Neverwhere, Stardust, Smoke and Mirrors, The Ocean at the End of the Lane, another copy of Smoke and Mirrors, Trigger Warning, Anansi Boys, Stardust, Special Edition of Norse Mythology, Fortunately the Milk, Coraline, The Graveyard Book, Fragile Things, The Ocean at the End of the Lane, and another copy of Smoke and Mirrors. Then lying on top, I have First Redwall Book, we have my Tiffany Aching Terry Pratchett books, The We Free Men, A Hat Full of Sky, Wintersmith, I Shall Wear Midnight, and The Shepherd's Crown. Then I have two Johannes Cabal books, Johannes Cabal the Necromancer, Johannes Cabal the Detective, and it's pretty random after that. Carrie by Stephen King, Lost Boy by Christina Henry, The Parable of the Sower, The True History of the Kelly Gang, Songs of the Earth, The Vesuvius Club, Never Let Me Go, The Moonstone, Unnatural Creatures, The People in the Trees, The Leopard, The Walled City, Area X, we Were Liars, The Incorruptibles, The Mechanical, The Last Unicorn, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, A Brief History of Seven Killings, The Last Seance, The Eyes of the Dragon, Pet Cemetery, Big Ship at the Edge of the Universe, The Grey Bastards, The Book of Lost Things, The Pathfinder Trilogy, Pathfinder, Ruins, Visitors, Fledgling, and The Queen's Thief Books, The Thief, The Queen of Atolia, The King of Atolia, A Conspiracy of Kings, The Shadow of the Wind, Something Red, The Wicked, Wake of Vultures, then some Jeff Wheeler books, The Wretched of Muirwood, The Blight of Muirwood, The Queen's Poisoner, The Thief's Daughter. Sitting on top here, I have The Vanished Birds, The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang, The Dragon Republic, The Tiger's Daughter, The Phoenix Empress, and The Girl Meets Duke books, The Governess Game, The Duchess Deal, The Wallflower Wager, King Lear, and Winter of Ice and Iron. And on this shelf, I keep the Book of the Month Club books that I've read and that I want to keep. Normal People, Get a Life Chloe Brown, Daisy Jones and the Six, House of Salt and Sorrows, And Then There Were None, Eatreed, The Heart's Invisible Theories, Spinning Silver, The Secret History, The Goldfinch, Ireborn, Turn of the Key, The Devil in the White City, Malibu Rising, Pachinko, The Maid, Beautiful World Where Are You, Death on the Nile, Conversations with Friends, A Ladder to the Sky. The next one down is mainly my Kinkiller collection within a couple other things on the end. I have a mug. <laughs> designed by Creatively Crafts with a Kinkiller quote on it, the best lies about me are the ones that I told, and this Aeolian tankard which came from Rothbus's own merch site. The 10th anniversary edition of The Name of the Wind, signed and personalized to me, then the UK version of the 10th anniversary edition, the regular US hardcover of The Name of the Wind, the original first edition US cover of The Name of the Wind, the other original cover for The Name of the Wind in the US with Fabio Kvothe, the Latvian edition of The Name of the Wind, another copy of the Latvian edition of The Name of the Wind that I had custom 
Painted, the UK paperback of The Name of the Wind, the UK paperback of The Slow Regard of Silent Things, the UK paperback of The Wise Man's Fear, the UK hardcover of The Wise Man's Fear, the heinous Latvian edition of The Wise Man's Fear, the regular US edition of The Wise Man's Fear. Then I have the first edition U.S. original hardcover of The Lies of Locke Lamora, U.S. hardcover of Red Seas Under Red Skies, U.S. hardcover of The Republic of Thieves, and randomly the hardcover of A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms because it fits there. The next one down has my Red Rising hardcovers, as well as another mug made by Creatively Crafts that says, I'm gold, bitch, and this special edition uh, fan art print that came, I think, in an Illumicrate box, uh, but I got it secondhand. I have an old copy of A Dance with Dragons, just because it fits there. And I have my Sons of Ares graphic novels, Volume 1 and Volume 2. The regular US hardcovers, Red Rising, Golden Sun, Morning Star. The UK hardcover of Morning Star. And a special edition of the UK cover of Iron Gold. The US edition of Iron Gold, which I got at the uh, launch event, is signed and personalized to me. And another special edition of the uh, UK edition of Iron Gold that is also signed. A sample, a chapter sampler for Iron Gold, the Ark of Red Rising. And kind of randomly I have the Book of the New Sun chapter guide here because I didn't have anywhere else to put it and I know Pierce Brown's a big fan of Book of the New Sun so I just put it here. I also have the character art prints that we received at the Iron Gold launch event. The US edition of Dark Age which was signed and personalized to me at the launch event for Dark Age. I have the Waterstones edition of Dark Age with black sprayed pages. I have the Goldsboro edition of Dark Age with a snake on the sprayed pages. And I have another signed edition, not personalized, of Dark Age, the US edition. Three regular US hardcovers that I had custom painted. I also had them all signed and personalized to me and Pierce Brown loved the paint on them. Last but not least is another copy of Morningstar, which is the copy that I originally had with my regulars before I got the signed one. I just still have this. And the next one down is all First Law, uh, at least all the First Law hardcovers. I have the original hardcovers released by Peer of the blade itself before they were hanged, The Last Argument of Kings. And I have the Broken Binding editions, which have sprayed pages of the blade itself before they are hanged. The Last Argument of Kings. I have the original hardcover of Best Served Cold, original hardcover of The Heroes, and I have the original hardcover of Red Country, but it's in the in my wrap-up stack because I read it in July. This is the Waterstones edition of A Little Hatred. This is the Barnes & Noble edition of A Little Hatred. This is the uh, Goldsboro edition of A Little Hatred. The Waterstones edition of The Trouble with Peace. The Barnes & Noble edition of The Trouble with Peace. The Goldsboro edition of The Trouble with Peace. The Waterstones edition of The Wisdom of Crowds. Barnes & Noble edition of The Wisdom of Crowds. A signed copy of Wisdom of Crowds from The Broken Binding. And the Goldsboro edition of The Wisdom of Crowds. Second from the bottom, I have my Lee Bardugo books, as well as a few other randoms. I have another mug made by Creatively Crafts. No mourners, no funerals on one side. And it says, better terrible truths and kind lies, which is my favorite quote, on the other side. First up, I have the Grisha trilogy the, in the original hardcover. Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, Ruin and Rising. Then I have a lot of uh, UK special editions. Six of Crows, Crooked Kingdom. This is actually the US edition of The Language of Thorns. The Fairy Loot edition of The Language of Thorns. The Lumicrate edition of The Language of Thorns. This is the Fairy Loot edition of Shadow and Bone, the US special edition of Shadow and Bone, the original US hardcover of Six of Crows, the original US hardcover of Crooked Kingdom, the Barnes and Noble edition of King of Scars, which was signed and personalized to me, the regular US edition of Rule of Wolves, the regular US edition of The Lives of Saints, and The Severed Moon, which is a writing journal with prompts by Lee Bardugo. I have several editions of Ninth House. I have the US edition, which was signed and personalized to me. I have the Waterstones edition. I have the Illumicrate edition. 
some random non Lee Bardugo things. The Last Wish hardcover, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, Piranesi, Shakespeare 101, and House of the Four Winds. And on the very bottom, I have my Terry Goodkind books as well as some random stuff. The original hardcover of Wizard's First Rule, Stone of Tears, Flood of the Fold, Temple of the Winds, Soul of the Fire, Faith of the Fallen, Naked Empire. I do also have Pillars of Creation, but I'm currently reading it. Chainfire, Confessor, Phantom, and The Omen Machine. And for non Terry Goodkind books, The Justice of Kings, The Atlas Six, All the Birds in the Sky, Classical Mythology, The Divine Comedy, The Iliad, Born a Crime, and The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. At the top of the middle shelf, I have random stuff. Ember in the Ashes Quartet. These are the Fairy Loot editions of Ember in the Ashes. A Torch Against the Night. Hey, Reaper at the Gates. Okay, let's get down. Okay. And a sky beyond the storm. Going in spray. And I have the Conqueror Saga and I Darken. Now I rise. Going in spray. And bright we burn. Under the Northern Sky books, The Wolf and The Spider. The Golden Wolf Saga, The Half-Drowned King, The Sea Queen, and The Golden Wolf. And I have all my Folk of the Air books, The Barnes and Noble Edition, The Cruel Prince, The Barnes and Noble Edition of The Wicked King, The Barnes and Noble Edition of The Queen of Nothing. Then the regular hardcover of The Cruel Prince, the regular hardcover of The Wicked King, the regular hardcover of The Queen of Nothing, the Alcrate edition of The Cruel Prince, the Alcrate edition of The Wicked King, and the Alcrate edition of The Queen of Nothing. Last is the UK hardcover of Spinning Silver. On the next level down, I have uh, lots of gaming and then just kind of random things. The illustrated edition of A Game of Thrones. The illustrated edition of A Clash of Kings. The illustrated edition of A Storm of Swords. I have a complete set in hardcover of the Prydain Chronicles. The Book of Three. The Black Cauldron. The Castle of Lear. Terran Wanderer. And The High King. I have the hardcover of Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. The hardcover of The Ladies of Grace Adieu. The UK hardcover of Cersei. The U.S. hardcover of The Bear and the Nightingale. The U.S. hardcover of The Girl in the Tower. The U.S. hardcover of The Winter of the Witch. The View from the Cheap Seats. One of two bind dubs of American Gods and Anansi Boys. The other bind up of American Gods and Anansi Boys. The 10th Anniversary Edition of American Gods. A regular hardcover of American Gods. A first edition hardcover of Anansi Boys. The hardcover of Trigger Warning. A signed hardcover of Neverwhere. The illustrated edition of Ocean at the End of the Lane. And the graphic novel edition of The Graveyard Book. And then hiding up here, I have The Truth is a Cave in the Black Mountains. And the original hardcover of The Ocean at the End of the Lane. On the next one down, the UK hardcover of Blackwing. I have the UK hardcover of Raven Cry, but it's on my TBR right now. And then the UK hardcover of Crowfall. Another hardcover hardcover of The Wolf, and another hardcover of The Spider. The UK hardcover of Empire of Silence, the US hardcover of Empire of Silence, the US hardcover of Howling Dark, the US hardcover of The Demon in White, the US hardcover of Kingdoms of Death, regular paperback of The Lesser Devil, the special limited edition bind up of The Lesser Devil and Other Stories, which is signed by Christopher Rocchio, the UK hardcover of Skyward, the US hardcover of Mistborn, the US hardcover of Will of Ascension, the US hardcover of Hero of Ages, Declaration of the Rights of Magicians, it's a sequel, a radical act, of free magic. Jade City. I have Jade War, but it's on my current TBR. And Jade Legacy. The next one down, we have some paperbacks of the books that you've already seen. I also have another Creatively Crafts mug here for Red Rising. Shit Escalates. It has a little wolf on it. And I'm not going to move it because this is precarious. Well, I'm going to have to move it to show you the books anyway. Okay. I have a blade for the blade itself. The Back to the Mud mug. 
Signed U.S. paperback of Red Rising. Signed U.S. paperback of Golden Sun. Signed U.S. paperback of Morning Star. The U.K. paperback of Red Rising. The U.K. paperback of Golden Sun. The U.K. paperback of Morning Star. The U.K. paperback of Half a King. The U.K. paperback of Half the World. The U.K. paperback of Half a War. Signed U.K. paperback of The Blade Itself. Signed U.K. paperback of Before They Are Hanged. Signed U.K. paperback of The Last Argument of Kings. Signed U.K. paperback of Best of Cold. Signed UK paperback of The Heroes. Signed UK paperback of Red Country. Signed UK paperback of Sharp Ends. Signed UK paperback of A Little Hatred. Signed UK paperback of The Trouble with Peace. UK paperback of The Lies of Locke Lamora. UK paperback of Red Seas Under Red Skies. UK paperback of The Republic of Thieves. UK paperback of And I Darken. UK paperback of Now I Rise. UK paperback of Bright We Burn. Second from the bottom, the hardcover of The Essex Serpent. Hardcover of Deathless. The UK hardcover of The Bear and the Nightingale. The UK hardcover of Winter of the Witch, hardcover of The Lie Tree, hardcover of The Golden Compass, hardcover of European Travel for the Monstrous Gentlewoman, hardcover of Newt's Emerald, hardcover of Riverkeep, signed hardcover of Some Kind of Happiness, the original UK cover of The Diabolic, hardcover of Alias Hook, hardcover of After the Armistice Ball, hardcover of Fairy Man's Day, hardcover of A Deadly Measure of Brimstone, hardcover of The Reek of Red Herrings, hardcover of An Unsuitable Day for a Murder, hardcover of A Bothersome Number of Corpses, hardcover of Fin Fancy Necromancy, hardcover of Big Foot Loose and Fin Fancy Free, hardcover of Smells Like Fin Spirit, hardcover of Radiance, hardcover of Furthermore, my annotated copy of For the Killing of Kings, When the Goddess Wakes, and Upon the Flight of the Queen. Now on the bottom I have mostly Cassandra Clare books and a little bit of Laney Taylor. Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Princess, Ghosts of the Shadow Market, Chain of Gold, Chain of Iron, Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy, The Red Scrolls of Magic, The Lost Book of the White, Shadow Hunter's Codex, The Bane Chronicles, Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows, Queen of Air and Darkness, and I have this uh, quote art cube for uh, Strange the Dreamer, which has one of my favorite quotes from the books. It was impossible, of course, but when did that ever stop any dreamer from dreaming? The international hardcover of Daughter of Smoke and Bone. The international hardcover of Days of Blood and Starlight. The UK hardcover of Strange the Dreamer. And the UK hardcover of Muse of Nightmares. The top of the last bookcase. I have some little Shakespeare's up here. Hamlet, technically not Shakespeare, wrote Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. The Winter's Tale and Macbeth. Here I have uh, all my Hogarth Shakespeare's and actual Shakespeare, but neither Hogarth nor Shakespeare I also have The Deathless Girls, Hagseed, Shylock is My Name, The Gap of Time, Vinegar Girl, New Boy, The Paperback of The Gap of Time, The UK Paperback of The Gap of Time, The Paperback of The Vinegar Girl, Paperback of Shylock is My Name, The Taming of the Shrew, Macbeth, Othello, The Tempest, The Merchant of Venice, The Tenant of Wildfell Hall, Pine, The Magic Toy Shop, By Horse Alone, The Hood, The Northern Lights, aka The Golden Compass, The Subtle Knife, The Amber Spyglass, The 20th Anniversary Edition of The Northern Lights, The 20th Anniversary Edition of The Subtle Knife, The 20th Anniversary Edition of The Amber Spyglass, The First in the Sinclair's Mysteries, The Clockwork Sparrow, The Second in the Sinclair's Mysteries, The Jeweled Moth, The Third in the Sinclair's Mysteries, The Painted Dragon, the fourth in the Sinclair's Mystery is The Midnight Peacock. The next one down, the UK hardcover of Normal People, the Goldsboro edition of Daisy Jones and the Six, the UK hardcover of Malibu Rising, the US hardcover of The Graveyard Book, the UK special edition of The Smoke Thieves, the regular US hardcover of Spinning Silver, signed hardcover of Norse Mythology, the hardcover of the UK illustrated edition of Neverwhere, the UK hardcover of Hogfather, the UK hardcover of Good Omens, the Golance Anniversary Edition of The Name of the Wind, the Golance Anniversary Edition of The Wise Man's Fear, the Golance Anniversary Edition of The Lies of Loch Lamora, the Golance Anniversary Edition of Red Seas Under Red Skies, the Golance Anniversary Edition of The Republic of Thieves, the Golance Anniversary Edition of The Blade Itself, the Golance Anniversary Edition of Before They Are Hanged, the Golance Anniversary Edition of The Last Argument of Kings, the Golance Anniversary Edition of The Final Empire, the Golance Anniversary Edition of The Well of Ascension. The third shelf down. The box set of the Infernal Devices. The Illumicrate edition of The Winner's Curse. The Illumicrate edition of The Winner's Crime. 
the Illumicrate edition of The Winner's Kiss, the 50th anniversary edition of The Book of Three, the 50th anniversary edition of The Castle of Lear, the UK hardcover edition of A Night of Cake and Puppets, the 10th anniversary edition of Clockwork Angel, the Waterstones edition of Chain of Gold, the Illumicrate edition of Chain of Gold, the Waterstones edition of Chain of Iron, the Illumicrate edition of Jade City, The Illumicrate edition of Jade War. The Illumicrate edition of Jade Legacy. The Fairy Loot edition of Red Rising. The Fairy Loot edition of Golden Sun. Fairly edition of Morning Star. And this special cloth bound edition of The Game of Thrones. The last three will be a bit tricky because my record player is right here, kind of making it a weird angle. But we're going to do our best. You can see I have all my Robin Hobb books here. Uh, the one that's missing is the one that I just read for my July TBR. Hidden up top here is Black Sun, the Russian illustrated edition of The Blade Itself. The Russian illustrated edition of Before They Are Hanged. The Russian illustrated edition of The Last Argument of Kings. UK paperback of Assassin's Apprentice, UK paperback of Royal Assassin, UK paperback of Assassin's Quest, UK paperback of The Ship of Magic, UK paperback of Mad Ship, UK paperback of The Ship of Destiny, UK paperback of The Willful Princess and the Piebald Prince, UK paperback of Fool's Errand, UK paperback of The Golden Fool, here I would normally have the UK paperback of Fool's Fate, UK paperback of Dragon Keeper, UK paperback of Dragon Haven, UK paperback of City of Dragons, UK paperback of Blood of Dragons, UK paperback of Fool's Assassin, UK paperback of Fool's Quest, UK paperback of Fool's Fate. Second from the bottom, we'll do this part and then I'll turn you to see that part. The Institute by Stephen King, An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson, Tales of the Peculiar by Ransom Riggs, the UK hardcover of The Hazelwood, US hardcover of The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein, the UK hardcover of The Midnight Lie, the UK hardcover of The Hollow Heart, the US hardcover of Strange the Dreamer, the US hardcover of Muse of Nightmares, the US hardcover of Daughter of Smoke and Bone, the US hardcover of Days of Blood and Starlight, the US hardcover of Dreams of Gods and Monsters, the US hardcover of Furyborn, the US hardcover of Kingsbane, the US hardcover of Skullduggery Pleasant, the US hardcover of uh, the second Skullduggery Pleasant book, Playing With Fire, the third Skullduggery Pleasant book, The Faceless Ones, Sky Hunter, Steel Striker, and The Thirteenth Tale. And the last shelf, the bottom of the third bookcase. This is my record player. The original hardcover of An Ember in the Ashes, the second original American hardcover of An Ember in the Ashes, the original hardcover of A Torch Against the Night, the UK hardcover of Torch Against the Night, the US hardcover of Reaper at the Gates, which was signed and personalized to me, a short story in the Illuminae Files universe called Memento. The hardcover of Illuminae that was signed and personalized to me by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. The Ark of Illuminae, which was signed by Jay Kristoff. The hardcover of Gemina, which was signed and personalized to me by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. The hardcover of Obsidia, which was signed and personalized to me by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. The UK paperback of The Diabolic. A US hardcover of The Diabolic, which I had custom painted. A regular unsigned copy of The Diabolic in the US. The US hardcover of The Empress. The US hardcover of The Nemesis. The UK paperback of the Empress, Arcadia, the UK hardcover of The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, White Fox, and Little Nothing. And that is the tour of these bookshelves. I am exhausted. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you hopefully soon, next time I feel like a workout, for the last three. Uh, let me know in the comments down below your thoughts about the books that I own, um, or whatever, I don't know, I'm pooped. So you let me know, things, stuff, whatever. I post videos on Saturdays. Other random times will have nothing Saturdays. So like and subscribe, join my Patreon if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you when I see you.